Do you need a power source for your ice gun? Maybe your deadly laser? Or do you want to just hypnotize some people? Well, if only the gemstones in our world worked like the ones that we're about to see. Today, we want to talk about some of the craziest uses of gemstones that we've come across in pop culture. Whether it's rubies, diamonds, or what have you, the characters on this list found some insane uses for gemstones that made us question pretty much everything. To start off our list, we want to look at the infamous 1997 film Batman and Robin. While it's hard for us to overlook their <clears throat> anatomically correct suits, corny one-liners, or the Batman credit card, what is going on here? For us, <laughs> the most ridiculous idea the movie presents is in its use of diamonds. Mr. Freeze uses large diamonds to power up his freezing engine so that he can freeze the entire city of Gotham and hold it for ransom. Uh, do we even need to elaborate on this one? While there are some recent and interesting breakthroughs in the use of diamonds as batteries, the idea that a diamond can power a freeze machine makes no sense. I mean, yeah, they are very thermally conductive and are used in electronics to draw heat away from other components, sure, but freeze a whole city? And how exactly do the smaller diamonds power up his suit? It's not like you can chuck diamonds into your gas tank and make your car go faster. So for all you supervillains out there, let me just save you some time real quick. Don't steal rare expensive diamonds expecting them to power your freeze ray. It doesn't work like that. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. One particular villain who could have benefited from that lesson comes from the 1971 film Diamonds Are Forever. Sean Connery as 007 is sent to spy on a South African stone smuggling situation. He discovers a space satellite equipped with a laser weapon that uses diamonds to terrorize the world. The idea was that each diamond would intensify and concentrate a laser beam to the point where it could destroy missiles, submarines, really whatever else Blofeld wanted. As you can imagine, this idea is bonkers, but not that bonkers. Diamonds have been used in optics for quite a while and in recent years have been used to create a laser that can cut through steel. That is, from a short distance away and certainly not from an orbiting satellite. A laser with a diamond in its chamber is capable of producing a very fine beam that, unlike older lasers, doesn't fan out as much and stays focused. That said, I don't think these lasers are anywhere near capable of blowing up a submarine from space. Lighting a match? Eh, maybe. I mean, like I said, bonkers, but not freeze ray bonkers. Next on our list is the adventurous Indiana Jones and his visit to the Temple of Doom. We already have a video exploring the diamonds that Indy discovers on his adventures, so click up here to watch that one. In this movie, one of the central plot points is a collection of powerful stones revered by a small tribe in India. When the stones are stolen, the villagers start to die, and Indiana must help recover them. Over the course of the film, these stones glow in each other's presence, become spontaneously red-hot, and are used for open heart surgery? Anyways, we've talked about stones with luminous properties before on this channel, and they all have one thing in common. Their glow comes from an outside energy source, like light or heat, and not just holding another rock close to it. And as far as burning a hole in a satchel, some gemstones can take a tremendous amount of heat, but that heat usually comes from a mega-hot furnace or the center of the earth, and not just speaking Hindi. And as for pulling out someone's heart, I'll let that one speak for itself. It's not a proper movie list if you don't include at least one Disney movie, right? Here we want to fly over to the world of Agrabah from 1992's Aladdin. If we take a quick look at Jafar's staff, you'll notice two glowing red gemstones in the eyes of his cobra scepter. He uses these to hypnotize people to do his bidding. This is even before he gets any powers from the genie. At most, he's a master of disguise and alchemy, so he's using these rubies without any strong magic of his own to control people. Now, while every gemstone does come with its fair share of lore, there's zero evidence to suggest that you could brainwash someone with rubies. I wouldn't worry about getting hypnotized by a tall man with a bejeweled staff anytime soon. Now, movies aren't the only media guilty of misusing gemstones in their storytelling. Comics have been doing insane things with gemstones for years. Now, I couldn't choose between Marvel and DC, so we'll just do one of each and we'll go from there. First, Marvel. Did you know that J. Jonah Jameson had a son who was an astronaut and a werewolf? Yeah, that's right. Colonel John Jameson went on a mission to the moon 
where he discovered a glowing red rock. Dubbed the God Stone, this rock grafted itself onto John Jameson and under moonlight would turn him into the dangerous man-wolf. I asked Buzz Aldrin and Neil if they had found anything crazy up there and I haven't heard back yet, so I guess <laughs> anything is possible. As far as gems attaching themselves to you, they can't do that without a little help. As we saw in this unboxing episode, some gems will stick to your tongue like a frozen lamppost. But can any transform you into a hairy monster? Not quite. Equally guilty as Marvel is DC Comics. While they've had some crazy villains like Gem Girl and Jubilee who use gemstones to fight Wonder Woman and the Justice League, the one that stands out to me is Star Sapphire. Star Sapphires absolutely exist in the real world, and they are famous for their stunning phenomenon known as asterism. To learn more about asterism, click right here. Now, while they are exceptionally pretty and rare, they don't exactly do what the one in the comics does. Star Sapphire receives a symbolic weapon that looks a bit like a real-life Star Sapphire. The only difference here is that hers gives her <laughs> superpowers, among which include the ability to channel her love into beams and weapons. The closest we have to that on Earth is a mood ring, I guess? Just don't expect it to fly you through the universe, let alone battle the Justice League. In fact, I wouldn't count on a mood ring, period, for anything. Well, that's enough fun for today. If any of these could work for real though, what gemstone powers would you want to use? Let us know down in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on future videos. See you next time. Mm -hmm.